guys welcome back to the channel so i am taking a little break from cleaning um well reorganizing the girls room um emery just about finished his today and i have a last couple of things in um in his room that i need to take out to put in the girls room so I was taking a little break. I was in the office cleaning up and I need to get to this Goodwill haul so I can get this stuff out of my office and I'm also doing laundry today. So perfect time for me to go ahead and film this video and share with you guys what I got. I did get household things too, but I may go ahead and put that in a different video so it's not so long because um, there's some really nice pieces that I found and I want to go through each one. So I don't look like anything special today. So I'm just going to flip the camera around and show you the clothing that I got. I got stuff for myself, Nohea, and Eden. Um, I don't really ever find anything for my husband or Emery there every now and then. But usually just the girls and I have luck. So I'm going to jump right in and show you what I got. All right. So... I may be missing a couple pieces because I bought some of this stuff a while ago. This was like um, maybe two weekends worth of hauling um, and I only go on 50% off um, Saturday. So that would mean that it would be like a month's worth of shopping basically because it, it's every other weekend. Um, so some of the stuff I've already actually worn, the girls have worn, it may be in their drawers already, so and so. So I'll show you what I did find and that I still have out. Um, I found this super cute little tutu. Um, Nohea actually wore this one um, already and I think she wore this one to Eden's birthday party. But don't quote me on that. But I, I know we wore this one and this is the Carter's 18 month. And... Um, trying to remember the price on this I think I paid like 250 on this one because I think it was 499 so I made it maybe paid like 250 for this so that was super cute and she'll still get plenty of use out of this so that was a nice one um, I was looking for some more like pajama bottoms house clothes for her this is a Carter's again this is a 2t and this was two forty nine, so we paid one twenty five for this piece. That's what it looks like. Super cute. The next one, um, pretty sure someone just took the shirt and then made it, because um, it's a Granimals brand. I don't know if this came printed. Um, it looks like it could have been made. Uh, it says, I'm your Father's Day gift. Mommy says, you're welcome. And this is 2T again, like I said, and she'll be wearing this one this year for Father's Day. I'm probably going to take a picture of her in it and um, make like a little photo book for my husband. And this was 99 cents, so just 49 cents for that one. So that's a steal for a gift and a shirt <laughs> all in one. This one's super cute. It says play like a girl. It is Under Armour brand, 2T. And this was $4.49, so a little bit more pricey. So $2.50, so I'm sorry, $2.25 is what we paid for that one. And see Under Armour, I love the color, really pretty. So those were great ones. I wanna show you what I got for Eden next. Okay, so these are the items that I got for Eden. This one is a really cute little skirt. This is Between brand. I've never heard of them, but it's really cute. Looks like this down at the bottom. This one's an extra large, so it's still big on her. Um, and I paid $2.50 for this, so really cute. It's got that zipper detail down the back it's really pretty so i think she'll get a lot of good use out of this or a nice formal maybe like a school um concert or something like that so that's a really pretty piece 
The next one is this um, really cute sh uh, pair of shorts. They have watermelons on them, so it's the khaki material. They have these cute little pockets with the little cinch bow um, detail. They are adjustable waist as well. This is a size 14 in the Crazy Eights brand. And these were 250. So she'll have a really cute pair of shorts that I can pair with a, a red top, a green top, um, a black top, something really cute for the summer. And they're good length because I do not like shorts that are nowadays shorts are too short, short too short for uh, little girls. And that's one thing I really dislike about shorts. So um, these are a really nice length. And for 250, they can't beat that. So these are two dresses that she's already gotten some wear out of. Um, we wore, actually she hasn't worn the purple one, but it was already washed. But she did wear this one when we went to see Brother at his graduation. And it was super darling. She wore her um, little fuzzy boots that I got from Ross. If I have a picture, I'll insert it. Um, but this is, let's see what brand. This is the Old Navy brand, and this is a 1012. And I don't quite remember the uh, price on this, but I want to say I paid about um, three or four dollars for it after the, the discount. It's got a three-quarter inch sleeves and the pretty star pattern. So that's really cute. And then she hasn't worn this one as yet, but it is. Um, the Cat and Jack brand in the 1012 and it's got that really pretty um, like fuchsia color and navy blue polka dots on it and this one is short sleeves so very cute dress so these she's already worn as well this is the let's see does this have a brand Target company. Yep, some Target brand. It's probably like Champion or something like that from the looks of it. It's got that really pretty detail, um, that cutout motif down the leg. And then at the bottom, it's got um, the pink and gray. So I'll show you. See the stains all over them? This is from Eden Painting and Spilling Paint. So <laughs> this is a prime reason and a prime example as to why um, shopping at the Goodwill is a great um, route for me because my daughter is an artist and she gets very into her art. <laughs> so... I mean, these pants at Target would have been super expensive. I don't know what brand that is. Something with a nine in a circle. I don't know if it's a part. No, not sure. Oh, and it's got that cute little zipper pocket detail that you can put. Because they're like yoga pants, jogging pants, whatever you want to call them. But anyway, what I was saying is, if I had paid full price for these and this happened, I would have been living. But I paid like a dollar or two. So... I don't really care you know this is exactly why I have a de delineation between nice clothes and house clothes we grew up wearing house clothes if you're in the house if you're playing you're in house clothes they're not pajamas but they're clothes that just don't matter and prime example so goodwill for the win on that one this one is super cute it's got that ombre pattern with the teals and the purples and blues and lavenders. Um, I'm not sure as to what brand this one is either. I didn't see a label in it. Um, but these were $7, so I paid $3.50 for them. But I figured for really nice um, yoga pants, they have good stretch. They hadn't been worn very much. These look like they were just about brand new. Um, I thought that was a good price, so we grabbed those, and yeah, I don't see, I don't see a label on those, but they're very cute. 
So she can wear those for dance practice and things like that so she can be comfortable. This is another really pretty dress. This one is a Faded Glory in a size 7-8. This is Walmart. Walmart's clothes tend to run a little bit bigger, as do the Circo brand at Target. So the Faded Glory, the Granimals, those run a little big. But the, um, let's see, the Cat and Jack is true to size. And there's another one at Target. I think the... Morona brand. I don't know if they have the kids clothes, but theirs is true to size as well. But anyhow, this is what it looks like at the bottom. It's got that really pretty, like, uh, it's not lace, but it's that see-through material. It's got like a pretty Aztec type print. It's a really pretty purple. It's got the cinched waist with a little bow detail. It's not a true drawstring, but really pretty. It's nice, soft material. And this one was $8, so we paid $4 for it. 3 dollars to be exact. But I love that handkerchief bottom that it's got. It's just really pretty. So that'll be a nice one for the spring coming up. These are some really pretty yoga pants. This is the Dan Skin Now brand. Baby's running amok. Uh, it's a Dan Skin Now brand, and it's got that really pretty print at the top. The yoga band. This is in a size seven eight, and these are really great um, pants. Look like they have not really been worn much. Maybe once or twice. Um, the crotch is in good condition. That's usually how you can tell if they've been worn out, especially. If you know, athletic pants. Um, these were six dollars, so we paid three dollars for them. Um, and these will be really nice because in one of her dance classes, she has to wear black bottoms, and those can get worn out very quickly. She has her um, leotard bottoms, but we need some pants like this for some days too. So that's a nice addition. This one is another yoga pant just a basic gray this is what the legs look like this one is a children's place um, and it's a size 8 this was $4 so we paid just $2 for this and these will be great for like when she goes to hip hop practice or you know just around the house nice comfy pants sometimes you just want a lightweight pant to put on nothing super heavy so that'll be great and then this one is a sweat pant it's tapered at the bottom it says believe and it's glittery this is the Dan Skin Now um, brand this is uh, 1012 and these were $2.50. So a really nice pair of sweatpants. They do have a drawstring as well. That's functioning. And that rounds out Eden's uh, athletic wear and dresses. Those are a couple of things that we were looking for at that moment. So that was a good haul for her. For myself, I was in the market for jeans and a couple of new tops. Um, I have gone down a size. So I was looking to replace some of my jeans that are just kind of like saggy in the bottoms, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> just from, you know, having them for a while or just them being a size too big, a size or two, because some of them were two sizes too big. So I ain't mad at that, but it was time to definitely go and get um, a couple new pieces. Um, but this first one is just some loungewear. I needed another pair of um, like pajama bottoms or house pants. So um, these are the uh, Athletic Works brand in a size 810. They were $4, so I paid $2 for them. They have a true drawstring and pockets which is a must i really love a 
a good house pant with some pockets so I can walk around with my phone and I don't have to keep setting it down and then when it rings and I can't get to it, blah, 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 all the things. But um, this is in really good condition. Again, the crotch is not worn. It looks like they barely wore these, if at all. Um, this is what the bottoms look like. So these are really comfortable. And all of these things I've actually already tried on. Some of them I um, have worn already. Um, but I always uh, try to at least try everything on as soon as I get it. So if it doesn't fit, I can just return it. Um, but yeah. So the first pair of jeans that I found are a colored jean. And the color is just so pretty. Um, this is a uh, pedal pusher uh, or a three-quarter, um, I guess, capri length um jean this is the st john's bay collection and this size is let's see mm, will it tell me nope if i can find the size i'll let you know but they fit <laughs> they fit me um like a glove so this one was um, seven dollars. So I paid just three fifty, and for St. John's Bay, you cannot beat that. So these will be really cute for the spring with a crisp white top. Um, even with like, if we're going out to dinner in the evening and it's cooler, I can put a light sweater over it, um, and then a nice cute heel. And I think that that would pair nicely and would be really really pretty. Um, but I'm just in love with this color. It's my new fun color for the spring. Um, I found a pair of Wit and Wisdom um, jeans. These have like the elastic band in them and they're a jean so that's very cool. Very comfortable. Perfect mom jean. Sorry for the noise guys. It is the weekend, and the kids are having their time, so um, let's see if I can find the label. Ooh. Oh, that's a 14 Petite. And these were a little bit more pricey than I would usually um, pay for, but they ended up being... Uh, 650 for them. They're so soft, really nice. These again are a shorter jean, so I would just wear them as I think these are the ones that come right above your ankle. Um, so that'll be really cute with a heel or a booty, um, something to that extent. And it's a really pretty dark wash, so it'll be nice for all seasons. So that was a really good find and they're not washed out or anything so really nice I found this Liz Claiborne top I think this one was listed for like four or five ninety nine um, so about three dollars is the size large I've worn this one already and it fits really nicely I love the pattern it's got like the indigo and the um, taupe some burnt orange some pinks some grays. It's just really pretty. It looks like a watercolor painting. Um, it just comes out like that. The back is a little, actually, no, the front and back scoop down in that, um, in that way. And then this is the button detail on the cap sleeves. So really, really cute. I like that one quite a bit. This one I've gotten a lot of use out of. I think this is the, is this a Levi's brand? I don't know. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But this is the Modern Rise um, Demi Curve Skinny Jean. And what size is this one? Let's see. Let me figure out a size together. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If y'all see it, y'all yell at me. Cause I'm not seeing it. If I find it, I'll let you know. But yeah, this is the emblem on the back. And I really thought this was just a really fun pattern. Uh, it's just stars all over and they're distressed. 
Um, this one fits me perfectly. I've already worn this. I wore this on my girl's trip to Vegas and I paired it with a really cute top. Oh, I got to show you the top that I paired it with because that was Goodwill as well. Um, but this was a really great find and I think I paid like three or four bucks for these. I think they were like $6.99. So that was a really fun find. I like that one a lot. And then this one is the D Jeans New York brand in a size 12. They are like a jegging stretch jean in a really light gray. Um, and they go straight all the way down, skinny jean. And these fit me really nicely. I actually have space in these, which is very exciting for a size 12. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> but yeah, and then they have the, the wash... Um, the stone wash uh, um, look in the middle so that's that for bottoms and then I'll show you the tops that I found okay so for the items um, top wise that I got for myself I got this really cute it's super soft um, it's just a no boundaries so Walmart brand size 7 9 and someone did like a uh, decal on there um and it says queen it's really pretty it's just a cute little top to throw under something like a jean jacket or just to wear it out over some leggings or whatever the case may be i think i paid like 49 cents for this so that was really cute and the top that had the star on it i can't find it right now but that's the one that i matched with the jeans and i'll insert a picture um, from my trip um, to show you what that one looked like now this one i kind of feel like it might be too big for me it's a 1214 it's the time and true walmart's new brand i was really drawn to the fuchsia color i just was looking for a nice little springish color um, and then the sleeves are really what got me. So the sleeves have this like wing detail and they have lace with the flowers. So that's really what drew me to it. I mean, it may be a little bit big, but I really, I really like it. And I think I'll get some use out of it before it just becomes way too big for me. Um, it was $2, so it's not a huge loss if I only wear it for a couple months the next item is a dress I sus su suspect it's a dress it's a little short <laughs> not gonna lie um, it just feels short to me but maybe I'm out of it this is the metaphor brand in the size medium it was a little pricey uh, $12.99 so um, I paid six fifty for that. It's got this really pretty like watercolor tie dye effect to it, and it's that material. I can't really describe it, but it feels interesting. It's not super soft, but it's not rough or anything. Um, it's got the sleeveless sleeves, and it comes down in a V like that not really a great angle sorry it has tie straps that you would tie in the back because they actually are piped into the front this way here and then this is what the bottom looks like so yeah really pretty spring summer dress this is the neckline if I can hold it up for you so you can see so it's got like a deep V, so I may have to put a cami or something underneath that. But yeah, I just was kind of drawn to it and the shape of it, the cut, so I bought it. Okay, so this is the next piece. Um, this one was $2.25, and this was the um, Motherhood Maternity brand in an XXL. It's probably going to be huge on me, <laughs> but it's a really pretty like maxi dress and it's a really pretty pattern with the gray um, stripes and this really pretty melon color. Um, the camera's not picking up properly. It looks more orange up there, 
um, but it's not. It's this makes it look like like a melon color, and it's not. It's more like this looks apricot actually, and it's not that color at all. Um, but yeah, if all if it all fails and it just doesn't work, because I'm just noticing that it looks like there's a oil stain on there. I didn't see that, and I can just wear it around the house and be comfortable. So no big loss for two twenty five. So this next piece is um, the Catalina brand. It's an extra large. It is a bathing suit cover-up. Um, it's got a really cute detail in the middle with the ring. It was, um, and this one has the um, like the lace material, you know, detail. Um, but on Shakima's channel over on One Mom. Um, she is like the queen of the goodwill hauls like her style is impeccable with piecing stuff together um she actually found something similar to this hers was solid it wasn't like you know the the lace material um and she said that she was going and hers didn't have that buckle at the bottom so it just was like the deep v i think she said she's going to find a shirt to put under hers and um, pair it with some bottoms and wear hers. So I was like, that's actually a really cute idea. This one is probably a little bit too much like, you know, the cover up. So probably couldn't do that. I may be able to get away with doing a cami underneath and trying that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I always have wanted one of these. I was in the market for it and the price was right at 350 So I grabbed this one. Cause I'm feeling like I want to think about a vacation <laughs> at some point in time so why not will myself in that direction okay this last piece is by a company called dip I've never heard of it uh, it's a size large nothing really special about this piece um, in the sense of it's just a regular um, cotton top it's got a nice sleeveless but it's a deep cut, um, pretty ver uh, horizontal stripes in a pink and navy, it looks like. And then it's got this really cute little tie detail at the bottom. So I like that. I thought it was simple, something cute to wear. Size uh, large again, and it's a $1.99, so I paid $0.99 cents for it. So I thought that was well worth the price um, for $0.99, cents. just something to kick around in if I'm going grocery shopping or just at the park with the girls. Um, so yeah, that was my thought process on that. So that's all the clothing. Let me show you the couple pairs of shoes that I found. Okay, so... Um, my disclaimer on shoes at the Goodwill is that normally I never look at them. If I'm 100% honest, I usually just pass right by it. Um, but my favorite, um, um, Goodwill partner always finds really cute stuff there. And we're similar sizes. So I decided to look this time around and I actually found a couple of pair of shoes now this first one it took me a minute to figure out if i wanted them i thought about um, taking them back i'm not sure i'm they have grown on me um but i'm still not a hundred percent they look really cute on um but i don't know we'll see they were 6.99 so 350 um they don't look heavily worn they got a cork um wedge and these are six and a half so it's the mix number six brand and they look like this with the little knot detail in the front so i'll probably have to wipe that down a little bit and i would spray them with a little lysol just to clean them up a bit um, but that's the first pair the next pair I found um, were super cute to me. Uh, I thought these would make a really good uh, like Labor Day, 4th of July, you know, summer pair of wedge heel. So they're taller, gotten some good use. This is the Splendid brand. They have the cork 
and the inside these again were $6.99 and the size is um, seven and these so they're a little bit bigger um, but I just love that detail it's got that faux leather in the middle and then the really pretty um, this is like an elastic material almost like corduroy too but I just thought that was really cute and these will make some really nice um, summer heels and I love a good wedge so those were my next pair and then my jackpot which I absolutely fell in love with were these Mosmo brand um, pumps they've got a really pretty heel this is probably about a three inch heel I've gotten some good use these are a size seven again these were uh, I'm sorry these were ten nine nine uh, ninety nine so I paid five dollars for these um, they got the gold detail on the inside but if you look down in there they really haven't been worn very much so I thought those are really cute they fit really nicely on they have the pointed front and the cutout on the side so that's what that looks like and they're in a really pretty cognac color so I am going to be loving on these um, I think these will be a great fall pair of heels um, but yeah these were probably my fave out of all of them and I just wanted to step it up a notch so that's what I found Okay guys, so that was everything that I got in our clothing haul for myself and the girls. Um, like I said, the Goodwill is a great resource to use when you're getting school clothes for the kids, stuff that they're going to run through, um, and then like gently use stuff for adults. It's just well worth it. I would have spent hundreds of dollars on some of, you know, some or all of the items that I got. And I didn't spend more than like 50 or $60 total. So, I mean, it's just absolutely worth the hunt. It's really fun. Um, I make a day of it with my girlfriend, like I've said time and time before. Um, we go, we have lunch, we go hit up about four or five, six stores, and we just make a day of it. So, um, this is what we got this round, and I'll be back with the next edition, and that'll be household items and miscellaneous things that I found around the house, but I can't wait to share, uh, share with you the, the awesome finds that I've gotten, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and please comment down below and tell me what your favorite items were, or if you have been to the Goodwill lately and found some good pieces. So until next time, guys, bye. Mm -hmm.